What's going on guys? Alex here with it, 14 EDC, and I got a quick unboxing to do for you guys today. Um, unboxing knife is the Kershaw Knives Launch 20. Just unboxed this earlier in the day, actually. Uh, so if you guys caught Wednesday's video, I did my unboxing of this. Uh, I got this in right after work. And as I was doing that unboxing, I mentioned that I think there might have been another package at the mail room um, that I had not checked yet. So later that evening, whenever my wife and I took our dog out for a walk, ran over there, grabbed this because indeed this was there. Uh, but then came back and cooked dinner with the wife, hung out with the wife, watched Netflix with the wife, all those types of things. Um, and I am now doing a night unboxing. It's been a while since I've done a video at night because uh, my job, I have to get up uh, you know, pretty early in the morning. Uh, so I don't really, you know, I'm usually in bed by... 9, 9.30 at the latest. Uh, it's a quarter to eight, or excuse me, it's a quarter to nine right now, um, which is a little bit weird because growing up, at, you know, through high school into college, um, you know, even a couple years after college, I'm, I'm a night owl. I love staying up late. Um, you know, I'm, I'm usually pretty good with getting not a ton of sleep. Like I'll stay up late and get up at a decent time and be all, you know, okay all day. Um, but it's a, you know, a story for another day. Uh, so I'm kind of excited to be doing a little night unboxing. I'll get this up for you guys on Thursday. So you guys are seeing, I'm unboxing this on Wednesday, but you'll be seeing it on Thursday. Um, you all probably said, I'll just shut up and unbox the package. So I will. Uh, this is coming in via Matt over at Knife Life EDC. I will leave a link in, the in my uh, description to his channel down below. Please go check him out. And of course, this is coming in via the Lefty Pass Around group. And I believe this is five Kaiser knives. Um, I think it's the Bulldog, the Crocodile, the Helmet, the Assassin, and I cannot remember what the fifth one is, but I believe it's five Kaiser knives. Um, and I'm pretty excited to check it out. You know, Kevin usually gets in all the new releases from Kaiser, um, which then entails allow you know allows us to check out all the new releases from Kaiser, which is always very very exciting. But yeah, five Kaiser knives and these boxes are pretty thin. Um, so this came from Knife Life EDC, but Shield Arms must have had the. Um, package before him so I got one of those in there and just some other stuff so I'll keep that over there to put the boxes back in alrighty so we're going to go right off the top here first we have the assassin designed by Carlos Eastner um, 2.99 inches with a nitro v satin blade blue denim and a clutch lock so the original um, assassin was a liner lock I think was it a liner lock or was it a button lock? It was it was a different locking mechanism than what this is right now. Uh, and of course, they updated it with Kaiser's ever so popular clutch lock. Um, it really is probably one of the one of the best, if not the best, iteration of the access lock um, in the game today. Because of course, you can change the springs and you know do all that jazz with it. But uh, there we go. All right, got to make a couple separate piles here. So. Here is the Assassin. Um, I'm, I was really excited for this one. Blue denim, my guard, it feels really good. Nice loop over style deep carry clip that is reversible. No blade play whatsoever. Just a clean, simple drop point with a little bit of a spear pointness going on there. Uh, Nitro V, like I said earlier. Assassin, if it'll pick it up on my phone. Great action. I mean, you guys you guys all know and love. If you've handled a clutch lock, you know what you're getting yourself into. Um, good size. It's a little bit on the smaller size, which I thought this was going to be a little bit bigger. Um, but I really like this. Uh, I'm a big fan of the drop bear. And, you know, now with the clutch lock, this is kind of similar to the drop bear, but very smooth. Again, that micarta feels great. Really liking how that feels. Um, yeah, I mean, this is a clean little knife. I'm sure this probably goes for, I don't know, 70, 80 bucks probably. You know, it's more of a budget steel with Nitro V, but again, you're getting that clutch lock. But very, very smooth. Again, very, very comfortable in hand. Um, really, really good size. And again, I love that blade shape. Uh, so I think that the Assassin will probably be one of the more exciting ones I'm unboxing to me personally out of this bunch, but we'll check out some of the other ones. Uh, next up, we have the Crocodile, which is designed by Azo. 3.45 uh, inch blade with a black Nitro V 
um, steel and textured G10 and steel liner. So I believe some of these, so we got the crocodile, we got the infinity, that was the other one. We have the helmet, and then we have, no, it's not the bulldog. So I think the, the crocodile, the infinity, and the helmet are of a part of a new, of kind of a new sub line from Kaiser. They're still under Kaiser, um, but they're like 50-ish dollars, um, and they're, you know, pretty budget-minded materials, but you're still getting that Kaiser quality. Uh, they started doing that, I believe, earlier this year, 2024, and these are the first ones I've gotten to check out from it. I know that they've done, you know, a few handfuls of them so far, but I believe this is, I mean, this, I, I've been kind of farther down in the uh pass around for this one so i'm not sure what exactly month these came out in but here is i can't, I can't forget the crocodile um so this has like the g10 kind of textured almost looks like you have carbon fiber in there but pretty thin knife overall again that same lube over solid deep carry clip that is reversible flipper tab nice stout detent very interesting blade shape you kind of have a ramp up here Thin behind the edge, very thin blade in general. Um, great ergos, that thumb ramp works great. And you of course have a choil up here. No blade play whatsoever. Very, very, very snappy detent on that flipper tab. And you guys can hear that. I mean, that honestly is very surprising to me. You guys know I'm not the, the biggest fan of flip rolling knives. I can definitely appreciate them, you know, when I have them in and when they're done really well. And honestly for this, uh, I'm sure this is a $45 or $50 knife, but that action is ridiculously smooth. It drops to your thumb. No blade play whatsoever. I mean, fantastic action. Really, really good flipper action here. Great ergos. Um, you know, kind of a, a larger size knife, about a three and a half inch blade. But, I mean, man, that is surprising. I mean, you guys can hear that just thunder out of there of course you get just great action uh yeah that's the crocodile designed by azo and I'm, i might have to take back i mean the, the assassin was good the crocodile was good and we're, we're, we're two for two so far so uh next up we have the helmet um 3.17 inch blade of nitro v with black green g10 and steel liner also designed by azo which I know Azo is a very big in-house designer for Kaiser. He's, he's a very big part of the brand that is Kaiser. And I honestly kind of forgot I was getting this one in um, until I saw him message in the Slack group that he had sent it out to me. So it was a nice little surprise to get these in today. But here is the helmet. I'm really going to have to study these names. Now, immediately, I like the plain G10 as opposed to like this polylaminate kind of carbon fiber-ish stuff going on. But you can see flipper tab, hole for deployment, same loop over style deep carry clip that is reversible. And again, very thin, um, nice detent, locked up nice and tight, really good ergos. I mean, you have that beautiful, very utilitarian sheep's foot style blade, um, helmet, Azo, Nitro V up top there. I mean, Stupidly good action. I cannot get over how much I am enjoying these these knives. Um, I'm, once this video is over, I'm gonna have to look up how much these knives are because these feel like $100 knives, and I know they're going for, like I said, 45, 50 bucks. But great detent. Again, just buttery smooth action. I mean, Kaiser killed it with these ones. I mean, that is just a thunderbolt coming out of there really good ergos i wish there would be more of a kind of a choil here to choke up but i mean just look how thin those blades are coming down to a ridiculously thin edge you guys can see right there that's that's crazy good I mean, that really is crazy good um, i'm a big fan of this design overall i love you know just the the utilitarianism that's going on with the blade and again that action whether you your finger flicking it your thumb flicking it or your flipping it. I mean, ridiculously good. And again, so thin, really, really thin. Um, yeah, that is the helmet 
three for three so far. Can we go four for four with the Infinity? Also designed by Azo, 3.09 inches of, again, a black Nitro V steel with a green G10 and steel liner. So kind of a theme here. Um, all, green, all green G10 with blacked out um, Nitro V blades. Here we go. This one is rocking a flipper only. Um, again, really, really thin. I mean, that, I just, I can't get over how thin and lightweight these are. Uh, loop over style deep carry clip that is reversible, which is great. Very interesting sort of leaf style blade. Um, nice big belly, but again, following suit here. Ridiculously thin behind the edge. Infinity, Nitro V, locked up nice and tight. Guys, I mean, stupid good, stupid good. This one might be the best, and it's the smallest blade. And it's just dropping shut. If I get my finger out of the way, then the flipper tab is hitting me in the back here. You guys can see, I mean, almost almost going close. It wants to go so bad. Love that blade shape. Uh, I'm a big fan of kind of... Uh, it's very comparable to the Assassin, actually. I mean, it's different, but it's it's it has, you know, the same kind of characteristics and similarities. Um, but, yeah, like, for, for no frills EDC knives, and, I mean, even for me being, you know, an enthusiast and a hobby, uh, you know, hobbyist and a collector, these are tickling my fancy, guys. They really are. I mean, it's, they're, they're so thin, they're so lightweight, and I just can't get over how good the detent is on them. Great action, great detent. Um, good ergos on this one too for it being a smaller one you can use kind of landing choil up here but super thin behind the edge yeah I mean those are crazy good um, so that's four for four so far and then last but certainly not least we have the Bulldog which is designed by O Show um, it's a three inch blade uh, 154 cm satin with black aluminum scales and a clutch lock um, this was a pretty kind of polarizing design that came out not too long ago um, and this is the black aluminum with pink hardware, which is pretty cool. So I'm intrigued to see how much I like this one. Love that texturing right away. It's kind of like rough diamond plate texturing. Uh, you have the clutch lock, of course. You have that pink hardware that stands out right away with the pink clip. Uh, I'm not the biggest pink guy, but I mean, it's cool. It's a cool way to express yourself. Very interesting blade. Osho Bulldog. Nitro V right there. Um, and I've heard really good things about how comfortable this knife is. And yeah, I mean, you can choke back a little bit, but really you have this nice restriction point right here with a little bit of jumping going on. Uh, and you can, you have a ton of jumping up along the blade right there. So you can land right there with your thumb. You can land up here with your thumb. Or, and my thumb's not long enough, but you can use a pinch grip and land up here on this jumping for, you know, possibly using this in the kitchen. No blade play. A little bit stiffer of a clutch lock than the Assassin, but very smooth. Um, it's just a thicker knife than what I'm used to, you know, handling over the last four knives. All four before this one were super duper thin. Um, but yeah, I mean, I love the, again, the milling on there. Middle finger flick. Great action. Uh, surprisingly, this is probably my least favorite of the three, or the four, or the five. Sorry, it's, I don't get too many knives in it once like this. This is a, kind of a crazy unboxing, but yeah. I mean, the Bulldog is still cool, very, very comfortable. And I mean, it's it's unique, which I can really appreciate. Uh, and I'm sure once I get in the pocket and carry it around, I'm still going to enjoy it for what it is. Um, but just a, a unique knife, um, but yeah. So that was a pretty epic unboxing, uh, you know, pretty cool. I'm, I'm glad I did it before I went to bed. Um, you get to experience some cool stuff and I'm sure I'm going to sit here and fidget with a few of these before I, uh, go tuck in for the night. But that was my, I keep wanting to say full unboxing. That was my unboxing of five different Kaiser knives. We got the Assassin, we got the Helmet, we got the Infinity, and we got the Crocodile as well as the Bulldog. Huge shout out to Kevin over Left EDC for always letting us checking, always letting us check out dope stuff, running my words together. Uh, but I'm going to wrap this up now, guys. So thank you again so much for watching. I greatly appreciate each and every single one of you guys. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your morning, evening, night, day, whenever you're watching this. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.